All right, Simone, good morning, bro. How are you? Hey, man. Thank you. I'm awesome. I'm hey, honestly you. awesome. Today. I love your energy, man. I love your energy. Look, I've been talking about this for the last two days. You're in, into my videos and I'm, I'm mentioning about, yeah. about you all the time because your energy is, is always through the roof and I love it. So, Simone, thanks for making the time today, man. I just wanted to go through a quick interview to, you know, we started working together, I think it was in February. So that was not long ago. It's now, what is it? It's, it's June. So it's been like five five months. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's been like, uh, uh, honestly, maybe maybe four or five months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just that. Yeah. And uh, oh my God, it has been a while since we started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the things that happened uh, were like... Uh, Yeah, you know one of the things that that I love the most about you is that when I when I met you, I remember that that, that I met you in this in this coaches group, and you said, "Look, if you help me, I'll give you a good testimonial." And and I remember that that we we had talked before that, and I didn't pay attention to you. And then the second time, I, I did find out that you had left corporate, you had gone all into your coaching business, and you were kind of in a in a place where you you were not moving forward and not moving backwards and and your energy level man it wasn't like the energy that you got oh, today man. man this is fucking oh. awesome stuff so so listen so what what was look i just got four questions so the first thing that you that you think it was good about working together what was it if you want to tell me about it yeah man honestly uh, it was a complete lack of confidence on my skills And that was basically because uh, I was, uh, I started out this job like since uh, three months before. So I thought that I could do it by myself. I thought that I could do it like on my own way, but uh, I was uh, completely out of it. Yeah, right. And uh, I, when I remember that we, we talked together and we, We met like uh, in a forum, like in a group on Facebook, uh, and uh, I decided like to to join you, and because I, I loved your stuff, I, I it was like a, a, some time that I was checking out your stuff, and uh, I really resonated with that, with that energy, and that was part of my energy. So I think that uh, the first thing thing that uh, you had me to do is like to get back the confidence back, and it was uh, mainly getting clear about what I wanted to do. So I was able to get my confidence when I was able to actually understand better who, who I wanted to help, what I, was, what, what I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. And uh, the first thing that I remember is that uh, my niche was completely off. I, I was trying to help managers, but I really don't want it to, to help them. <laughs> I moved the fuck away from that uh, environment. Yeah, 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 right. And so it took some time, took some iterations. Finally, I actually been able to figure it out uh, what I wanted to do, what kind of people I wanted to help. And uh, I honestly, it was uh, because of uh, our work together. So I couldn't have awesome. done Awesome. Well, as I said, I mean, what, I know that you you were trying to help uh, people in corporate, and corporate was something you were running away. So it was kind of not resonating, not well aligned with who you were. So so, and then you you got your first client after three weeks working together, which is awesome. Um, and then now, what are you offering now? What what's your offer? So basically, what I'm offering now is. Uh I know that when you start out, so if you are a coach, and this is where I, I help coaches, you have two things that are going wrong. You lack some uh, marketing expertise about how the all organic uh, world works, especially what I focus on is mainly on, on the Facebook platform. And I learned it from you, like uh, how the things are from you. I, I, I actually started to understand how not to... to To, to sound rude or to piss people off, just understand <laughs> yeah. how you do it. And yeah. that was like uh, mind blowing, also. And uh, then uh, what I do, I actually help coaches to understand how it works, everything behind the scenes. So the marketing part, the organic outreach, how can you have, are, are able actually to attract your ideal client? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there is another part which is about uh, mindset. So how to overcome our limiting beliefs, because like it or not, uh, those are the things that are preventing us to achieve the success. Absolutely. And this is what I, what I, what I try to help them as much as I can. Because well, I, I know that you're doing a good job, man. Thank you. I know that you're doing a good job. Honestly, I know that uh, there are so many people out there who are struggling, and uh, every coach who how we are not helping out is uh, like uh, a thousand or more people out there in the world that are suffering because we are not stepping up. Yeah, and that's what drives me the most. Yeah, that's true. That's that's one of that's one of the things that drives me the most because the, the more impact you make, the more coaches that make an impact. So it is it is exponential, right? So it's not only you getting people results, but the people that you get results get results as well. And and you're helping now other coaches, but I got a lot of clients that they're not helping other coaches; they're helping people with anxiety, people with with another kind of issues that, that might be related to health. Or relate to happiness, and and that's and, and look, we we all have this passion to help people, right? So, yeah. so this everybody, is everybody has this gift to give to the world. Yeah, yeah. To be, be clear about what it is for us, what to, helps us to be happiest the most, and yeah. when we figure this out, then we can we cannot be stopped. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. So, so now, now that you, I mean, I, I mean, I'm always happy when, when I when I think about the when we started working together and how. I mean, I was talking to friend to a friend of mine and I was telling her, look, I can't wait to work with Simone because he he's he's he stepped out of corporate. He went all in. He's committed. I know that he will get the results that he wants, and he got them. And now one of the things is that when I talk to you, man, I mean your profile picture, your energy, your pose, your life, like there's all this, you know, this a lot of energy coming up. So, so the, what I wanted to ask you, how do you see now going back to your old life, to corporate? So, how does it look this life from here? Man, I remember like every day. Incorporate, especially the last months, not the last months, but uh, I had like this uh, moment, this period where uh, I was completely off. I wake, I woke up and I was afraid. I didn't want to go to work, uh, and every day it was a struggle. And uh, I think that we shared this thing together. Uh, and I know your story. Yeah. When you do something that you don't. Uh, that you don't fully commit that uh, it's something and we are free minds. We are people who thinks with their own brain and that is what makes us special. And when I was like in this cage, when I got yeah. there, you have to do this, you have to do this this way. You cannot decide with your own head. There are bosses here, there are clients there. And it felt like being in this cage and thinking about the future, how it's gonna look like uh, at 50, at 60 years old was creeping the fuck out of me. It doesn't look good. <laughs> doesn't I look know. good. I know. Uh, that's why I choose. I choose. I decided. Okay, if this is going to look like, I have to do something. I have to change something, and uh, I have to be willing to to stay in a position where uh, it's gonna be hard. I know, but uh, eventually I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I mean, look, you got the conviction, you got the commitment, and you did the work. That's 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 all it takes. I was I was replying to someone today, asking, "Oh, but how could you explain how you make this?" Look, you only need one thing, and it's the, your willingness to do it and to do whatever it takes to make your dreams come true. Because everything else will come will come will will come together when you start putting your focus on, on the, this one thing that you want to achieve. So congratulations, super Simone, man. I'm so happy. And listen, I don't want to make it very long. Uh, thanks a lot for taking the time of the day for this quick interview and keep crushing it. And I look forward to keep talking to you, man. It was my pleasure, man. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. See you.